Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. A price increase is coming to a popular live streaming service. What's unfortunate is it was one of the lowest price streaming services to carry live sports channels and not require a person to pay for local channels, at least in most markets. The streaming service is Sling TV, and the price is going up by about $6, bringing the total monthly bill to about $46 in most markets and $51 in large markets where ABC, NBC, and Fox are carried. Despite the price increase, Sling TV is still one of the best values in live streaming services that features live sports, and nearly $30 less than YouTube TV. Why is there yet another price increase on a streaming service? Contrary to what many may believe, Sling TV didn't decide to jack up the rates just because they felt like it. It's a direct result of big media companies demanding more money from cable, satellite, and streaming services for the rights to carry their networks. The constant price increases of live streaming services is a trend I predicted in several videos years ago when I started my YouTube channel. The price of over-the-top streaming services such as Hulu Plus Live and YouTube TV are going to go up as people request more of their favorite channels, the streaming services add those channels, and then the content providers charge for those channels. There's no in-between. The price is going to keep going up. Many of you will probably deal with the Sling TV price increase, but for those of you who have had enough, here are some options. Assuming that you already have an antenna to access your local channels, you can sign up for a cheaper streaming service like Philo TV or Friendly TV. In addition, you can access hundreds of live channels for free on various apps including Pluto TV, Tubi TV, and Freebie. In my opinion, there's more than enough free content on these apps alone to satisfy anyone who isn't tied to a specific cable network. There's also the option of on-demand alternatives like YouTube. I barely watch live TV as it is beyond local news and the occasional live sporting event. Most of my viewing is from YouTube. The algorithm does an excellent job recommending videos that I find interesting rather than me mindlessly scrolling through a guy just to find something that I sort of like. Plus, I feel like it's better to support independent content over multi-billion dollar corporations that continuously gouge viewers in every way possible. Whichever option you choose, make sure that you have a good antenna setup to pick up all of your local channels reliably, as there will never be a price increase with an antenna since there's no monthly bill in the first place. If you use an antenna and are not able to pick up all of your local channels reliably, you might need to adjust your antenna or upgrade it. I include a link to some recommend antennas in the description of the video, and you can also sign up for my antenna recommendation service on my website, antennamanpa.com. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this quick video update. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while getting exclusive perks, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man, click the join button in this video, and you can also click the thanks button. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA or sign up to my email list linked in the description below. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.